Okay, so I've been doing my research and mm -hmm. I found out that you secretly are a K-pop fan. Oh, that's not secret. I you like K-pop? I 100% love K-pop. It takes a true man to admit they love K-pop. I love K-pop too. There you go. Yes. Up top. But we also know that Elias is a sensational recording artist. Mm -hmm. So the question is, would you rather have a front row ticket to an Elias concert or a front row ticket for a K-pop? <laughs> well, very easy. Very easy. I flew to Toronto to see Shiny do a three song set. You flew to see her do three songs? Shiny, Shiny is the greatest K-pop group on the existence uh, in, in the on the planet. Their yeah. dance moves are just on sync. They're incredible. Point, right? yeah. They're so good. So yeah, I would much rather sit front row at a Shiny concert than see Elias play. Sorry, Elias. He's, he's great, but Shiny's way better. Shiny better than Elias. You yeah. it. Your trombone, Francesca, means a lot to you, right? And the same can be said for your love of gaming. So Francesca the trombone gets lost and is never seen again. Or Xavier Woods is banned from gaming for a whole year. Which one is going to happen? This is, good. this is a tough one, isn't it? You're thinking about this a lot. I can tell how much both mean to you. Ah, Francesca. Oh, how could you do that to Francesca? I thought she meant so much to you. Because, check it out. So, Francesca is gone, and the promo that I currently play is Francesca 2 Turbo. So, haha, I just worked around your question. There we go, winner! Next one, Big E and Kofi have to retire from wrestling. Aww. Okay, this is, this is what I've, I've got it's here. Real life. It's real life. They are the two members of the New Day that need to be replaced. So you've got to find two more members. Who would you pick? The Bar. You don't like the look of that. The Usos. Name another, another easy one. Or, hold up, hold up, there's one more oh, choice. Okay, well. The B Team. Ah, Usos. Usos win this round. Those are so, we have had these knockout, drag out, disgusting battles with the Usos. And even though we like have a love hate relationship with them, uh, we respect each other. We respect yeah. each other. Because I know that they will go the extra mile to do what needs to be done to win a match. So you don't respect uh, the B team? Or we haven't, the we, haven't, we haven't clashed with them. The bar? We have, with the bar, we've clashed with, but. No respect. It's, it's like a respect, but a dislike. Yeah. So I don't dislike the Usos, I dislike the bar. Mm -hmm. I respect the fact that they can, they can fight, but. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. I agree. People that I want watching my back that I know like won't turn on me when, when the going gets tough. Are you sure it's not Seamus' his beard that annoys you? <sighs> his beard is kind of disgusting. <laughs> I will say that. I will, I will give you that. Okay, let's go on to the next one. We know you had a stint as a cheerleader mm -hmm. back in the day. So, Xavier Woods becomes a cheerleader once again. Who will he join? The Dallas Cowboys, Ooh. Golden State Warriors, Ooh. or the New York Yankees? Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna go Yankees, Yankees because there's no cheerleaders in baseball, so we will be crushing it. Our entire squad will be so good because there'll be no other squads to compete against and us. And you'll make history as the first ever cheerleader for baseball. <laughs> exactly. <Yes>. Done. <laughs> Easy. Okay, next up. Xavier Woods has a WrestleMania main event match for the title of his choice. Mm -hmm. It's a universal title match. Last man standing against Brock Lesnar. Mm -hmm. I reckon you could take him. Or it's gonna be Hell in a Cell, WWE title against Daniel Bryan. Ooh, I'm going to have to go with Hell in a Cell. Mainly, I feel like I have a better shot at winning because I've been in this type of match before. I haven't been in the last man standing match mm -hmm. yet, so I feel like that being my first one against Brock for the title at WrestleMania, it's gonna be a lot more pressure. Obviously this, so much pressure, but since I've been in this situation before, I know things about it that I don't know about a last man standing match. So you think you could take Daniel Bryan in a Hell in a Cell? I would crush Daniel you Bryan. You would, I agree, cell. yeah. We know you love My Little Pony. Yes. That's also not a secret. It's a fantastic show. And of course, Bootios yes. are your breakfast. So what would you rather have? A year supply of Bootios? I'm sure you already have a year supply yes, of Bootios. Yes, I have a lifetime supply of Bootios. <laughs> or a year supply of My Little Pony merchandise. Mmm. I'm gonna go with Bootios on this one, just because uh, it I fuels up your day. Yeah, exactly. You know, and this is my product. I have to sell it. You know? I, gotta <laughs> my, I gotta feed my son. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Xavier Woods enters a mix map challenge later this year. Who will his partner be? Mm -hmm. Becky Lynch. Okay. The man. Charlotte Flair. Okay. Bit of a legend. Legacy. Lita. Okay. Ooh. Who's it gonna be? Ooh. I gotta go with Becky right now, though. This is happening like right now. Because she's a badass. Becky. At the Becky's got the fire. Mm -hmm. She got the fire in her right now. And I know like, we're not losing, she's on my team. But do you, would you not be scared that she'd be calling the shots? Because you can't answer back to her right now. She'd just tell you what to do, right? If she's calling shots, that's fine. 
There's nothing about my life that says that I can't take somebody else calling the shots, especially uh, just because of like the color of her hair, you know? I'm not yep. gonna say no, you can't do that just because you have red hair. I'm gonna say no, you know what? If you feel strongly about that, we can we can talk about it. Mm -hmm. And I might just kind of, oh, I'm sorry, yes. But, you know, I think it'd be uh, an even playing ground. Uh -huh. She's like the, the female Stone Cold now, isn't she? Yeah. Like, so many comparisons, she's awesome. Okay, next one. We know you love unicorns. Yes. So what if the world suddenly changed and one of the following things happened? Mm -hmm. Okay. Xavier Woods has unicorn twins with matching hair and horns. What? Like, do I give birth to them? Yes, you give birth to okay. them. Okay. I don't. Or what? The New Day become the greatest ever stable <laughs> in WWE history. So this one is super easy. Do you know which one I'm going to pick? I'm going to give you a choice because it's very easy. Okay, the, the promo answer would be something like, well, we are the greatest stable in WWE Thank history. you, there you go, right? the show's correct. <laughs> We've already done it. Been there, done that. Ha, ha, look at that. Okay, so. You're getting excited about these matching twins. I am, I am. Right? That's, that's why I like flubbed, because I was like, I was trying to think like where I'm having these twins from. And what are you gonna call them? I need, I need names right now, Ooh. two names. I'm gonna have twins, a tw twin boy and girl. And they're gonna be Chris and Kyle. Chris and Kyle, okay, I can't wait to meet them. Okay, Chris final Kyle, one. Be so cute. Final so one, cute. okay. Pancakes are your life. Yes. And we also know that Final Fantasy is an obsession of yours. Yes. Okay, so I want to know what would rather happen? Pancakes become illegal to eat Ooh. and the New Day can never eat them again, or Final Fantasy becomes a banned video game. Ooh, I'm gonna go with, uh, with the pancakes becoming illegal mm -hmm. because then I could set up. Final Fantasy pancake speakeasies, and they'd be a huge hit. And then I'd be a pancake bandit with my friends, Kofi and E. This See? guy has got an answer for literally everything. I don't know how you do it, but go. Xavier, it's been a pleasure. Pleasure's Thank all you very yours. much, and I can't wait to meet those unicorn twins. Thank you very much. I'll bring them to you once we have them.